Hey everyone, my name is John Vine and welcome back to another video. What we're gonna be doing today is reviewing the app Mimo. I did a review like this in the past. It's actually my most viewed video, but a lot of you guys seem to have left a lot of comments and a lot of you guys disagree with the review I gave it. You guys thought I was too harsh and that I really wasn't reviewing it properly. I didn't give it the chance that it deserved. And so today I figured, you know what? I'd make an updated review because you know, the like, and, the like to dislike ratio does not lie on that video. I, th I think I really have to give it a second chance and kind of give it a more in-depth review and give it the review that it really deserves. So let's get right into the video. So today we're actually gonna be starting with the Mimo website, getmimo.com. I didn't even touch on this in my last review, but Mimo basically has a website too where you can go on and code as well. And I didn't even know this last time, but a lot of you have left comments on my YouTube and on my TikTok saying, you know, you can actually go online and code online. There's like, I'm, I'm expecting there to be like an IDE and kind of a similar experience to stuff like Code Academy. But yeah, this is basically my first time on it. And so let's go. Let's see what's going on. So I have a little bit of experience. Let's only get here with a trial, but let me do a seven day free trial. All right, so now I have a trial. Let's start learning. What do we want to learn? So Mimo for, yeah, okay. So the, there's the app, which is the main place. And basically there's projects and playgrounds. It looks like projects are just some things you can, yeah, literally just side projects you can work on. And playgrounds, I'm not sure what a playground is. It's probably just like an IDE. Let's do a simple website. So there's some JavaScript, some CSS, some HTML. And if I run the code, it probably just shows it. Yeah, so this was this is pretty cool. They do have an online kind of IDE and um, an environment for Python. It looks like JavaScript and then a simple website. So yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. I mean, this is already way better. One of my biggest criticisms with the app was that you shouldn't be your main source of learning code shouldn't be through an app and shouldn't be just, you know, through 10, 20 minutes a day. But if they have stuff like this, then you can actually work on it on your phone and then kind of keep going and at home kind of work on it on your computer. Then, you know, that I'm actually a big fan of this. So let's take a look at the project. So you can, looks like you can sort by web development, Python and JavaScript. So let's just look at some, some basic projects, finding out a coupon generator. So it looks like you have to finish easier projects. So you, you probably just have to unlock, right? So yeah, let's do location data project. So let's use variables to record data points. We'll start by creating descriptive variable name to store which country. So it looks like these are kind of an extension of the app. Give country variable the string e value USA equals USA. Yeah, so this looks like it's similar to the um, app and to how the app performs. It's basically, you know, smaller, simpler act uh, activities that you fill out similar to this, you know, like fill in the blanks basically. So let's track the state the traveler is located in. We're creating a state with the value Florida. So state equals Florida. So see, you do little things like this and it kind of builds the habits and builds the knowledge of these little foundations. And it basically is a tool you can take on the road with you for what you know when you're not, when you don't have a computer in front of you and you can't really code. But it's really good for, you know, beginners that are trying to learn how to code and they want to, you know, do it all the time, kind of like Duolingo. So that's kind of the perspective that I didn't take last time. I was looking at it through someone who, you know, doesn't who, who, through someone who just just wants to learn how to code and wants to do it the more traditional way. I would have never thought of, you know, being on the road and like whenever I have a minute here, a minute there doing these little coding activities. But I could definitely see how it helps code just the variable name city. So see, then they slowly they slowly make you type so you get comfortable with coding. And honestly, I can see the, I can see it in the long run. You know, you start off super basic. And then, uh, and then it gets, it gets more complicated and more complicated and eventually you're working on projects. So, you know, I, I, I'm actually kind of a fan of this, create the continent variable and give it the value North America continent equals, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm brilliant. I'm so smart at this. All right. So I've completed a project return. So you see, you see how basic that was. What I'm trying to say is it's very, very simple stuff. And again, my criticism of this before was that you can't just use this. Mimo as a way to learn how to code, right? Because that was re that was like w really easy. Um, so I, I I could definitely see that this is made for be really beginners, people that have no idea. And I really wish that I could see these hard um, finish easy projects to unlock this project. And I really wish I could do these hard uh, projects. But I imagine they're more complicated, but not nowhere near as good as actually just coding your own side project or taking a course or something like that. So, you know, overall, this is a great tool, you know, so far from what I've seen on the web app, at least, is that there's very simple stuff, 
and and it, it probably gets more complicated so you can go from a, from zero knowledge at completely zero knowledge to not even knowing what a variable is to actually making your own little small projects there's also a playground section where you can actually code and see the results of your code so so far Mimo looks awesome on the, the on the web app but let's take another look at the iOS app which you know <laughs> all of you guys hated last time around so I'll see you. I'll see you guys in the app. So guys, now I'm using the app. You might have noticed the video quality kind of got worse. Well, I'm using my phone to actually review the app and my phone is what I use to record my YouTube videos. So I can't use it to record and I'm using my Mac. But yeah, so let's take a look at this app again. I haven't taken a look at it since last time, really. So let's just do like an overview kind of thing. I remember this part. There's I, I think I picked HTML basics and it kind of gave me this kind of plan of four courses to start with. Um, so again, cool to see some projects. Maybe we can do one. Finish level one of discovering HTML and tags to unlock this project. Okay, so it looks like we, we have to do some projects first. Let's take a look at what's up here. So it looks like we have some lives per day kind of thing. Um, I don't know how, how often these refill, but I think if you're a free user, you probably have a certain amount of mistakes you can make or a certain amount of courses. And then, yeah, there's some coins you can buy. And I don't know what, oh, this is just a, a streak, cool. So I'm in the web development route. Let's go to Python. So you can already tell that this follows the same kind of structure that the web app was following, right? It had web, web development, I think, it had JavaScript and then it had Python. So now that we're on the, the iOS app, we can see that there's only web development in Python. So let's try to start one of these. So it looks like if you're a free user, literally everything is closed until you finish level one of the previous, or I guess you just have to make your way there. So let's, let's just start from fresh, right? And create variables, right? I, I, I don't know any Python, so this will be a good exercise. So fantastic programming language. So you see here, we can already see the five hearts. And then I think you can just report an exercise. Yeah. So, okay. Just a little background on Python. And then, yeah. So what, so what I'm getting from this app is that it starts you off with very simple, you know, instructions, right? It, 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 it makes you, it doesn't even let you type. It just makes you press buttons that are words or variable names or whatever it is. And so it kind of takes, it kind of takes the pressure off of you because it doesn't make you start coding right away. Right. And so in that case, I really actually like this. Uh, it helps understand what's inside of variable. We we'll pick descriptive names, some city province, boom. And so, yeah, I kind of really like that, that idea because you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that eventually it, it will, um, allow you to type and then you'll be, you know, you'll be doing more in depth and more difficult exercises. So, you know, I, I do actually think that you can learn a lot from this app. And so see here, you know, it gives me the chance to actually type, right? So we're already seeing that kind of stuff. So there you go. I completed my first level. I got 140 XP, uh, no double XP weekend, unfortunately. And I've started a streak. Awesome. I'm in a leaderboard. It's giving me reminders. It's hitting me with everything. So, Ooh, type of box. I like boxes, three coins. Okay, amazing. Oh, now I got 20 coins. Let's check out, you know, the rest of the app, right? There's also a browse section. So it looks like there's a ton of projects and then some courses that I can take. Web development, make a website. So all this requires pro, but not command line. So let's see command line. This course is about the terminal or command line interface. So, you know, I'm a big fan of the terminal. I love using the terminal, so. Um, I do think this is actually very good information. If you're a complete beginner and you don't know how to code yet, but you want to, you really want to get started coding. I think this is perfect for you. I think this lets you, you know, start off very simple. It lets you kind of, it gives you a very good foundation and a background knowledge before every course. It kind of has a good explanation. And then it really has, you know, a very simple way of explaining to you the fundamental knowledge you need to know before you actually start coding. Right. So, you know, variable names, there was stuff about snake case, there's how to use the terminal. And so I do think there's a lot of very good knowledge here. It just can't be your primary source of, you know, learning to code. You got, guys, this is a good app. It's a good, you know, booster, right? It's a good addition onto your curriculum. Well, let's call it a curriculum if you know, you're studying how to code, but the main thing you have to do is still actually sit down in front of your computer for a couple hours a day and actually just code. This app can't be a substitute for that. And so, you know, look, there's a huge uh, array of categories you can, you can pick from. Uh, looks like big data, data science is all for pro, uh, un unfortunately. But you know, what if we click on programming? So look, programming, getting started. 
So I'm pretty sure if you, let's see, computers are greater falling. So what are they bad at? So I think it's thinking I'll make a mistake. So there you go. You get five hearts. So there you go. I ran out of hearts and what can we do? Uh, I get one heart every four hours. So it's kind of, if you get some questions wrong, then you kind of have to wait a couple of hours before you can restart, which isn't that bad. It's an incentive to buy premium, but you know, overall, I think there's a lot of value in this app. I genuinely do. There's a leaderboard with achievements. You can track your progress. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, it's very awesome. You can see there's, there's clearly a lot of active people using the app. So pretty sweet. I look, I look like I'm in the wooden league, so I have to get promoted. <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so and there's a profile. You can invite friends. I can create new playgrounds. And so overall, guys, if you're an, if you're an intermediate, if you've already coded for a bit, I think there's no value for this for you in this app. But if you're a complete beginner and you really want to get started with coding and you don't know where to start, I think this app is a great place that you can start. I think it really, really treats you like you know nothing about coding, which is awesome, which is how it should be. And so, yeah, I would definitely recommend this app. I hope you guys have enjoyed this updated review. Let me know if you guys like this kind of content. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like the content, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if there's anything you think I missed or if there's anything you guys want to add to the conversation. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, guys, take it easy.